welcome to my channel and if you're new welcome don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos but today you're here to see me review and do a first impression of this fit me maybe lean matte and pure uh, poreless normal to dry skin foundation review first impression of this foundation well i tried maybelline foundations before and i know i use the shade 115 and that's what i bought this one now this is more like ivory shade i don't like those kind of shade because it is ivory because they are kind of too pink on my skin but this one didn't turn that way so that's why i bought this shade and uh, i haven't tried it before but i did uh, hear good things about them and uh, I think it's kind of full coverage. Let me take this off so you see that this is the first time I'm opening. I like the packaging and it looks, well it doesn't look like full cover coverage, but we'll see what it will do to my face. Kind of went very nice and smooth on my skin. I hope this will match and be good and fill in my pores. So I am going to use this primer hangover from Too Faced like I always do with every foundation that I review and I'm going to use my favorite Paris Berlin foundation brush and the beauty blender so we're going to try it let's zoom in so I'm going to take some of this primer And while this sets into my skin, I'm going to change the battery in my camera because I see the red battery flashing it on me. So I'm going to remove the battery, change it, and I will be right back. So I'm back and I'm going to take this and place it on this side with the brush. I know how much I would need to use, but you'll see. be enough so let's take this brush and well it looks a little bit light it feels nice and moisturizing it's not dry feeling It looks good on my skin, I won't lie, it's nice medium coverage, definitely build it up to full coverage. Let's take more. I don't really, I don't really like how it looks on my nose, it doesn't look covered full coverage it doesn't look good it's kind of tricky and uneven but I'm, I don't know if that's because I've used the brush but here it looks okay kind of a little bit streaky this brush never leaves it's other foundations so I don't know it's kind of liquidy so maybe that's why let's try with the beauty blender and it's kind of watery I don't know I know it looks more even with a beauty blender, definitely, but for some reason it doesn't stay so nice on my nose. I like the application more with a beauty blender than with a brush, and I'm going to show you why. The shade, it is okay, I won't complain for that. Maybe that's why it's so... Can you hear it? It's very watery, and it's kind of get everywhere I just spilled a little bit on my floor let's see if we can build it up with the beauty blender I feel like it oxidized a little bit but not in a bad way Oh, 
Okay, I definitely like this foundation more with applying it with a beauty blender. The results are much better than with a brush. Let me zoom in so you can see the difference. This is my beauty blender, this is the brush. As you can see with the brush, it's streaky, it's a nut, so even it doesn't, it looks okay here, but here it's like a disaster. And down here, my chin is not good, the forehead it's not okay. But with a beauty blender, it's more even, I think, and it looks better on my nose. It's not perfect, but it's okay. It, is it buildable? I wouldn't say that because when I build it up, it's still, I don't know, less, my pores are less visible, that's true, but they are less visible with the beauty blender than with the brush. So I'm going to take my beauty blender and a little bit of the foundation and work it more on my nose. So I'm going to go over on that side with my beauty blender where I use the brush just because I want to I want my face to look even. It's Sunday here in Sweden today when I'm filming and we are going to have some guests and I don't want to look streaky or strange. We'll see how this will stay on. Okay, so it looks a little bit patchy on my nose, not so even if you look on me right now, it looks okay everywhere else, but on my nose it's not, it didn't cover a lot, so this is kind of light to medium coverage, I don't, wouldn't call it full coverage at all, it did cover good on my parts here but on the nose it's not it's not full coverage so it looks a little bit powdery not cakey a little bit powdery it looks when I look close on my skin and nose and my nose I don't know why it's not bad my skin it's not that bad today but it looks really uneven on my nose I don't like it here it looks like a disaster now I can use another foundation my nose when I'm using this one, if I will use it again, I don't know, we'll see. But, um, no, I don't know. Uh, I'm not so happy right now. I will finish my makeup. Let me just show you what time it is. 12 and 48. So I'm going to finish my makeup look and I will do check-ins. I will try to wear it at least for seven hours. Just to see how it will look during the day. But yeah, right now I'm not so happy. It looks okay. I mean, here it looks very flawless, very nice. My pores are less visible, but I don't know. I kind of, it kind of itches around my nose. I don't know. I'm not really happy how it looks here, but I'll use a little bit concealer and uh, I will set this foundation with airspin powder. Okay, guys, now my makeup is done. I did set my face with airspun or oh, airspun airspun powder and a setting spray like I always do uh, I don't know I do like the coverage how it looks on my face but I hate how it looks on my nose if you can see it's not really it didn't cover a lot on my nose and it's, it's kind of I don't know it's uneven and it left some places without foundation and even how hard I tried to put more foundation there just didn't stick I don't know if Instead, the, if it's the primer or what it is, but it definitely didn't work very well with the Hangover Too Faced primer. Can't speak properly today. Uh, we'll see how this will wear during the day. Let's zoom in so you can look at my nose closer. So as you can see here, it is patchy. It's not doesn't look cakey or anything, but it's patchy here and here on my nose. It's not even. I didn't put a lot of concealer either because I wanted to see how the foundation wears. But here, look, it looks like a mess. It looks very nice on this side here and on my forehead and on this side. But my nose, the foundation didn't want to stick there. So it's 13.07 right now and I'm going to leave this foundation on for at least seven eight hours before I do the check last check-in right now it looks very nice I have to say well, I'm very surprised with this foundation but I did it because I didn't like how it applied on my face I love how other products 
flight over it. So we'll see. See, see you soon. Hi everyone, now I'm back and it's, let me show you, 15.24 and I had this for almost two and a half hours and I have to say, let me take off my glasses, and I have to say that I really enjoy this foundation right now. I didn't thought that I would enjoy it as much as I do. I hate it when I just put it on because it looks like a disaster on my nose, I thought so. Maybe it looked good on the camera, but in real life it looked not so good. Well, if you see here, let me just zoom you in before. As you can see here, where I have my glasses, no foundation stays when I wear glasses, so that's nothing that I look for. But if you can see, it looks better on my nose now when it have been on my face for a couple of hours. I think it just melted nice into my skin. And it looks very, very nice here. It's st I'm still not happy with how my nose looks, I have to be honest. But I can fix that, maybe have like uh, a con more concealer or something, uh, another primer or something else under it beca but because it doesn't look good. But it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look cakey and that's very good, it doesn't look heavy, it doesn't feel like I have any foundation on. It looks nice on my forehead, it didn't settle in my fine lines just look good now I am a little bit shiny here and here but it's not bad at all and I uh, like how it looks really like it. it doesn't look like I have a lot of foundation on right now it did look like that when I first applied the foundation but for some reason when it after two hours now it just melted into my skin and it looks flawless it looks very nice it looks almost like my skin I can't lie, I really like it right now. I didn't like it, I hated it before, but right now I really like it and I'm really happy how it looks. Just have to fix this a little bit. I don't know if that's something with my nose today or if it's the foundation. I think it's the foundation, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, I'll do another check-in before I remove this makeup. I'm going away right now, so I don't think I would have time to check in before I come home, uh, come back home, but I will definitely do that. I think it looks good right now, and uh, yeah, we'll see. So hi everyone, let me take off my glasses. It's nine o'clock, and uh, I had this foundation for about eight hours, and I, <laughs> I'm kind of confused. First, I hated the foundation, then I kind of loved it, and now I'm in between. I don't know really how I feel about this foundation. I've never felt like this before, it feels very strange to say that, but I don't know, I don't really know what to say. I'm very oily. Uh, let's just zoom in so you can um, see better what I'm talking about. So now you are very cl close. If you see, can see here, it looks a little bit cakey on my nose. Here it looks very nice, a little bit shiny, but it looks nice. Then I'm very shiny, and look how the foundation just... Yeah, I don't know. It feels very, very, very strange. It looks very strange here. It looks cakey down here. And it doesn't look very good on my nose. My forehead, it looks okay. It's oily. And here on my chin, it kind of disappeared somewhere. And here... It looks very dry, then here there is no foundation. I really don't know. Now I'm going to use this uh, blotting paper from NYX to try and remove some of the oil from my face. So, very oily, I don't know what to say, <laughs> pores are there, they are not gone, they are less visible than, like with my Estee Lauder foundation maybe, I don't know, less visible, but it looks cakey here, especially here, on this part of my nose, and under where my concealer is, it looks very cakey, and that's not concealer, because I've used that concealer many times with other foundation, never had that problem looks very cakey here I don't know I like it how it looks on my 
forehead and on my cheeks but this the, uh, I don't like it I don't know if that's the primer that I use so I'm going to try it with another primer to see if that works better but where is the foundation here I really no, don't know how I feel about this one I'm kind of I don't know if I would recommend it maybe for dry skin it says normal to oily skin I don't know if this is for oily skin my skin is not that oily right now and it looked shiny and it felt oily doesn't feel heavy foundation doesn't feel heavy it feels like I don't have any foundation also that's good but in camera I can see myself right now and it looks pretty good it looks flawless down here coverage it's okay but I'm not really jumping of happiness with this foundation I kind of love, love my Estee Lauder double wear foundation and my cushion foundation from Lava Art so this one it's kind of I don't think I will use this every day now I'm going to try it tomorrow where I'm going to wear this to my work tomorrow and see if I like it more or less I don't know but we'll see how it works when I work and I'm going to try another primer I don't know I'm, I'm going to try another primer because Karam didn't it didn't really work for me I don't know it worked and it didn't work it's something in between yeah well uh, please tell me if you try this foundation and what do you think about that and what's your experience for me it's kind of uh, I hope it will work better I'm definitely going to try it again we'll see and uh, this was everything I had for you today thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye